solve the following problem for all cases. So what we do, what I did here first is I moved the tangent on the right side to the left. So we're setting this so we get it equal to zero. So then I factored out a three. And actually, this I made a mistake. So I factor out a three tangent x. This should be tangent squared over one third or minus one third. So we're going to get three tangent x tangent of x minus one over root three tangent of x plus root or one over three or root three. So one solution is going to be where does tangent equal to zero? It's equal to zero at a uh, y over x, so zero over one. So either zero or pi. So that's going to be one solution, which is just going to be pi n and n's an integer. One over one, uh, one over the root three. I don't know. Let me look it up really quick. I don't know if it's, the reason I'm looking it up is I don't know if it's a clean number. It may be. Okay, yeah, it is pi over six. Pi over six. Yeah, that would work. Uh, pi over 6, so that would be pi over 6, 5 pi over 6, 7 pi over 6, and um, 11 pi over 6. Because what happens here, we, this is in the form x, y, and tangents equal to y over x. So this is going to be, for example, pi over 6 is going to be 1 half over root 3 over 2. This is the same thing as 1 half times um, 2 over root 3. These cancel out, and we get 1 over root 3. And usually you'd rationalize the denominator, but we're just solving for these in, case, in these instances. So um, pi over six and seven pi over six would work for um, our tangent of x minus one over root three, so plus pi n. And then this will work for five pi over six and 11 pi over six. And that's it, okay. All right, I hope this helped you out. I appreciate you watching, and you have yourself a fantastic day.